the last episode we took the boys to Delphi for yet another history lesson. We explored Galaxidi and Navbaktos, two charming little towns at the Corinthian Gulf, and we set sail to Corfu, where we sailed right into a thunderstorm. The original plan was to stop at Kefalonia, but the weather was just too bad, so we kept going. We have more carbon! Ich weiß, ich zoome ein bisschen ans Fenster, sonst sieht man ja gar nichts. Gott! Ah! Da hinten! Wow, das ist ja richtig krank! Ich weiß nicht, wo der Das hatten wir schon wieder gemacht und Poseidon zu. Ja, Mann. Oh, das ist ja wie 50 km/h Böen. The bad weather stayed with us for the rest of the trip. After arriving in Corfu, we found ourselves a good anchoring spot because the thunderstorms would continue throughout the night. Unfortunately, the anchoring spot wasn't as good as we'd hoped for. The anchor was dragging and we had to move the boat at 4 in the morning. Oh, genau. Wir haben eine richtige Neigung. We were quite exhausted from the night. But the next day we still had thunderstorms and torrential rainfalls and we even lost our barbecue's lid. Here you can still see it, but two hours later it was gone. But it can't rain forever and two days later we were finally able to hang up all our wet stuff. And as you can probably tell I was pretty happy about that. <laughs> Corfu is a Greek island, but it's very diverse in its influences. The Venetian, French and British, they all left their traces. We moored in the public port. It was a little bit smelly, but very convenient for a first tour through the old city. <laughs> And Corfu completely compensated us for the bad weather we'd had before. It was beautiful walking around in these little alleys, seeing the Venetian-style buildings and the impressive fortresses. We had a great time exploring. The Corfu Mandraki Yacht Club has a spectacular sight directly at the feet of one of the old fortresses of Corfu. But at the time the weather was good enough to still be mooring in the public port and we wanted to save money and not pay for marina. I had to go back to Germany for a job and Yari really wanted to come along to see his friends. So we left the other two guys by themselves and took off. Unfortunately, that meant that Rick and Yannick had to celebrate their birthdays without us. That's my catch of the day. After Yari and I came back from Germany, we wanted to go to Albania, but bad weather forced us to return and we ended up in Vandraki Marina. We weren't too unhappy about it. The site was really spectacular. To leave the marina and come back, we had to go through the old fortress.
first thing we did after coming back involuntarily to Corfu was making good for our missed birthdays with a birthday burger bash for Yannick and Rick. In Zuländer look. Originally the old fortress had been built by the Venetians, but nowadays the only thing left by them are these old thick walls. But during the rule in the 19th century, the British changed a lot. The day came that the weather seemed good enough for the next leg of our trip to Italy. Mm. Corfu. Here, all the way around to the uh, Italy. And then uh, through the um, Ionian Sea down here and the touchdown was then at Le Castella. The weather forecast for our trip wasn't too rosy, so the boys took advantage of the warm sunny weather and went for a swim. The bad weather came for sure. We had another exhausting night with heavy gusts, thunderstorms and no sleep. What a ride last night. We went from Corfu to one of the outlying islands on our way to Italy. And we were a little bit surprised by a thunderstorm. Quite a heavy one with gusts, I don't know, 55, 60 knots, because we still had a little bit too much sail out, was really pushed to the side a lot. Everything in the boat flew out and around. And now, we were originally planning to leave this island very, very early, to sail to Italy. It's a 10 hour sail from here. We want to do this during daytime, daylight, because there is a lot of traffic, boats, ferries, etc., etc. But since we haven't slept, especially Rick hasn't slept, we might just wait until tomorrow morning. And that's what we did. We used the time to dry everything and then the next day set sail to Italy. And our destination was Le Castello in Calabria. Don't miss out next time when we explore Calabria and the little town of Rocella Ionica by bike. Also next stop Sicily and we take the boys up the Etna volcano. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe 